good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk Demo Mario Brothers music so guys imagine you were with a young lady a woman a woman that you really loved and of course she wanted to let's say go back to school let's say law school now imagine that you had enough money to take care of that right and she was like Sad music, baby. I really want to be with you, but I really want to be a lawyer. I, I really love you, but I'm just tired of being a teacher. So you're like, all right, boo, you know, I'm going to do that for you. So anyways, you put her through law school, you take care of her. And of course, at the end of all of that, you guessed it. She's supposed to marry you, but stop the show. She doesn't. In fact, she act like she don't know you. Now, it all seems like a bad dream, right? <sighs> Until you hear this clip on 19th of january 2023 court ordered fortunate charikunda to pay her former fiance richard tumene 10 million shillings as compensation for breach of a promise to marry him the court also heard that tumene a teacher at chiringa primary school financially supported charikunda including sponsoring her studies for a diploma in law at the law development center where he spent at least 9 million shillings now Whereas he appreciates the court ruling, he believes the 10 million shillings is less than what he expected. It's almost the same money I gave, I spent on the girl. 10 million is not enough. For me, I expected at least 15 million. Because I gave her, I spent on her 9 million. Then damages, the 1 million that court awarded for damages, plus the costs, is not enough to me. At least 15 years. Tumwene explains that he did not rush into a marriage relationship with Charikunda when they started seeing each other in 2015 to allow his then fiancé to continue with her studies since teaching was not her dream then. He says she requested him to financially support her in pursuing a diploma course because she did have the required money. Tumwene explains that he agreed to pay the tuition in the hope that they would later settle together as man and wife. 10th January, uh, we entered into an agreement to marry. Where we, 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 make, we made an estimate budget of, of introduction ceremony. We are arranging for introduction ceremony at her parents' home. However, early last year, Cherikunda broke the promise of marriage, insisting that she was unable to commit to a marriage after completing her diploma at the Law Development Center. She told me that she's well, she's saying I'm ready to marry her, but for her, she is unable and not ready to get married. married. I asked her, when shall you be ready? She said that to you, you are ready to marry me, but to me, I am not ready to be married to you. Therefore, better look for another one. Tumene says he was crushed by the betrayal and demanded for a refund for the money spent on her, which she declined, prompting him to go to court. Surely, I was psychologically anguished, but as a responsible man, I went slow, slowly, and um, I also I also asked her that please. It's okay. Love is a choice. I can't force you to come to, to be married to me if you are going to want. But since I gave you the money, purposely, for marrying you as you requested me, can you kindly refund that amount? According to Tumwene, he's still puzzled as to why he was turned down. She was, she was old enough to get married. She was, she was not 
in the age of uh, defilement. For Tumwine, there is no turning back right now. They have money. They have to find my money. I'm not ready for negotiation with the parents because it's too late. And we talked about earlier when they are running the police, they couldn't adhere to what they were advised. So now I have to keep on what the court decided. We are still hoping to hear from Charikunda, who has so far remained elusive. However, Tumini adds that what happened is now in the past and he's ready to move on and find new love. So guys, that happened in Uganda. That was Richard Tamwine, a 40-year-old man who paid for the tuition for his girlfriend, Fortunate Kaya Rakundu, to complete her studies at the Law Development Center. He's looking for 10 million shillings. That's roughly about $27 to $2,800. And you hear what he had to say. Well, she said she was going to marry me, and she doesn't want to marry me, and she's supposed to be with me. She doesn't want to be with me. So I want her to compensate me for the money. And okay, I could sort of understand that, but it seems like the brother is upset because she didn't want to marry him anymore. But see, what do you understand is a lot of guys got to understand this. A lot of women who are not doing very well will put up with you. The, the, the question is, are they going to deal with you when they're not struggling? Like, it's just like church, Christians. People love the Lord when they struggling. When they doing good, they ain't got no time for church. And really the guy don't wanna realize that, bruh, you got played. You gave her the money, now she don't wanna give it back because here's what you don't wanna put up with, bruh. She's been seeing somebody else the whole entire time, man, she never liked you like that. Now, if what he's saying is right, that you know, hey, listen, um, I don't wanna marry you now. And, and women can do that because now they're in a different class and you know they don't want to feel like they're old something look you know i get it he wants his money back and she should give it back to him she probably not but she should the thing about it is man stop bailing these chicks out like that to the point that you know you want the money back again and, and that's the situation don't give it to him if 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 you don't want them to have it you know i don't know why dudes do that dudes give women this stuff believe in what they say they're gonna be faithful to you they're gonna love you then when they don't then you get mad well, bro, you shouldn't have gave her the money in the first place. Maybe she should have married you in the first place. She don't want to marry you. She don't want to be with you. And let me tell you this, man. Most of the times when a woman don't want to be with you, for most guys, look, man, she's she's probably doing you a big favor. You just can't see it yet because you still hurt. You still want to be with her. Look, man, she don't want to be with you no more. You, we've, you got played. I can see if you want to sue for your money back. You're probably not going to get it back. And the thing about it is wherever she's going, let her go. Most of these ladies that 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 do men like this, they're, 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 listen, man, they're doing you a favor. Think about your ex. Stop the show. Think about your ex girlfriends. How are they doing right now? The ones that did stuff like this. Are they really excelling in life? Is their life changed? Do, like, do they have any effect on how your life is going to be? Hell to the no! All right. Most of y'all see them like five years later. Ain't they struggling? Ain't they dusting it up? Ain't they weaving and sailing up? Yes. What do you say? I thank God for the victory, right? I'm so glad that God removed her from my life. That's what we all say, especially after you get a little rich, you get something, you're like, man, I'm so glad I didn't meet her because she's such a terrible fit for me. All that person is going to do is go to the next person and ruin their life. It costs you $2,700 right now to find that out. What if you would have got married and lost more, bro? Stop giving your money to women that you really need. All right? Stop it. Because I can guarantee you, huh, the guy she's dealing with right now ain't giving her nothing. Most guys, you're just preparing the lady to go to the next guy who won't give her anything. I, it's been me before. I know how it feels. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again. Another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Really appreciate you for all that you do. Try to hit the bell, we're out. Yeah, yeah.